<laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Hi, Reject Nation. It's your girl, Sally, aka Sally Lamonaco, aka Salamander. I am at Sally Lamonaco on all of my socials. Go subscribe to my channel. But before you do that, subscribe to this one. Today, we are watching Insidious. I don't do well watching scary movies alone. I love a good scary movie, but alone? Not a fan. I'm excited and not excited. I would like to sleep tonight. Scary movies, ugh, they're like a guilty pleasure. I enjoy the idea of watching them and then when I am watching them, I tend to not finish them. You can blame Greg if I put my pants. Anyway, <laughs> please leave a like on this video if at any point you vibe with me and you're like, yes, queen, same. I remember when this movie first came out, I believe I was like in high school and everyone was like, dude, insidious, it's crazy. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So click that notification bell if you want to check out more reactions from me, Greg, or John. Also, please check out the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash the real rejects. They are going to put to my full reaction if you want to sit and have the full experience with me, like a little movie date. You can't grab my hand if you get scared. <laughs> you have to sync up with your own copy though. Again, patreon.com slash the real rejects. Let's just do it. Rip off the band-aid tally. Also, thanks to Prepper for editing together these highlights. Three, two, one. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. That was not necessary. Just saying. Why do ghosts like moving pictures? It's so annoying. Oh. I hate dolls. I can't. I can't look at it. This is just the freaking opening credits. Sweetie? Oh, she's matching. Can we have a picture of our dad with like a little kid? Yeah, I wish I could, but I don't think we have any. It's really hopeless at keeping photos. Every time I think I pulled you out, ah, you go all back in. He's like Chris Pratt with more hair. Don't like that. I'm like, oh, it's just the kids, right? The kids are reading. <laughs> Sounds like the toilet. Why would you put an infant on like the second floor? Uh uh. Scary. I can't do this. <laughs> this is just a ladder. It's always the heater. Why is it always the heater? Oh, it's just the heater making the noise. Uh-uh. Nope. Why would you go up there? Why would you do it? What is the re- Why- It- Just close the door. <laughs> Crazy kid. Ask him for it. Go downstairs. I don't want to be up here. The yeah, what were you doing? Okay. Yeah, you may be a superhero, buddy, but you're not invincible. You gotta be careful, all right? Okay. Mm. I think I have a couple of good songs. I mean, not all of them, but I think there's a few that I can do something with. I love all your songs. Shut up! You I do, do not. Stop it. 
cute. that was. Can you go wake up Dalton, Josh? Oh, no. The sleepy pants. You better get out of that bed. Your mother's gonna kill us both. Did he get a concussion? Dalton. 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 Dalton! There is no brain damage that we've detected. Um, There's gotta be something I'm sorry. Does he stay here? Do we... We'll conduct some further testing. It's only been a couple of days. It could take a little longer. It's like every parent's nightmare. Uh-uh. Girl, go get your baby. Go get your baby. Get it. Get it. I want it. No! I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. <laughs> Stop looking at things. Oh my god. I'm scared, Mom. Me too. What? Me scared too. of what? Don't do. Can I change rooms? Why would you want to change rooms? I don't like when he walks around at night. <sighs> Listen. Um, back to the hospital with you. <laughs> Probably just... Interference, those things are always picking up somebody else's uh, I don't know, it sounded so clear. It scared the hell out of me. I, I was at the piano and I could hear it on the monitor and I turned. I would have called my husband at work and been like, bitch, get home right now. <laughs> ah, oh my God, I hated that. I hate these headphones now. God, shit, shit. He's standing right there. He's standing right there. There's nobody here. I saw someone. Bring the crib in your room. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Stop. There can't be another jump scare this early. Shit. Oh my God, call the cops. Stop. Stop! Get in an Airbnb or something. God damn it. Unnecessary. We'll see you tomorrow. Wait, is that the saw guy? On the chalkboard? Is that Jigsaw on the chalkboard? It is! Hey, honey, it's me. Um, huh. They just told me I've got to, uh, I got to, I'm going to have to stay late tonight to, uh, I got to grade some tests. No, you need to get home to your wife. No, you need to get home to your wife. the nurse not notice that.
We're going. <laughs> We're going. I'm scared of this house. It's like a sickness. Ever since we've moved in, everything's just gone wrong. You think our house is haunted? I don't think it. I know I think it. Our house is haunted. Yes. Fine. Deal with this. Oh, he's on the couch. I don't care if I'm out of you. You're sleeping in the bed with me because I'm not going to get murdered. Same. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Josh. No, that's not your husband, idiot. Josh. Maybe if he slept in the bed with- ah! mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, that man's a Slytherin. Interesting, so they do move. But like- that, like, never happens in movies. Till the end. I can't believe you got Josh to hold still for a photo. Not me or anybody knows what you're going through right now. Whatever you have to do to get through it, do it. And you don't have to apologize for anything. She's very intense. Oh my god. Was that a child? That's where the song came from. Mm -mm. Oh, oh no. Mm -mm. Child, no. Stop laughing. Stop it! <laughs> I'm good. Dalton? That's not Dalton, you idiot! Yeah, I'd be crying too. It's a lot of money to get a third house. Last night I had a dream about this place. I went into Dalton's room. There was something in there with him. It was standing there in the corner. No. I asked it, who are you? And it said, it was a visitor. I said, what do you want? Stop it. It said Dalton. I can still hear that voice. Oh, Jesus! Shit! Greg! Piss myself. Oh my god. 
I know someone who can help. If you're willing to ask. Why are you so skeptical? Excuse you. Where is Elise? She sent us ahead to do some preliminary tests. Helps weed out the nut jobs. Oh great, here comes another drunk scare. I swear to God. No, oh, my Jesus! I really don't like this. I'm Josh. I knew that. You've grown since I last saw you. Since you last saw me? Mm -hmm. Your mother and I have been friends a long time. So this thing happened to him as a kid, but that was the flashback. What is it? Stop. I don't want to see it. I just want to see the drawing. Ah! Stop, stop, stop. I don't want to see it. I said I don't want to see it. His physical body is here, but his spiritual body is not. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. I don't understand. Have you ever heard of astral projection? Um. Mm, he has. You see, these are people with the ability to leave their physical body and to travel to different places in astral form. And it's that very lack of fear that has led him to travel too far and to become lost in a place that I call the further is a dark realm filled with the tortured souls of the dead. A place not meant for the living. There are entities that know this because they can smell it. That's why they're gathered around him. They are all trying to get inside of his physical body simply because they they crave life. I'ma head out. <sighs> I can't have somebody coming into our home and telling us that the reason our son is in a coma is because his soul is floated off somewhere in another dimension. We gonna bring her all the way here and not even consider what she's saying? I did this to make sure you could feel at ease. Don't gaslight her. You want to believe anybody You don't would. believe me. You don't believe me. I moved houses for you. What do you mean I don't believe you? But this, this is dangerous. You're gaslighting. You're gaslighting. You know it's true. You gotta show me. You're telling me they move houses and hung these up on the wall? Come on. That's funny. Can you hear us? Answer us. Where are you? I don't understand. Follow my voice, Dalton. Why aren't you talking anymore? If they hear me, they'll hurt me. Who will hurt you? Who will hurt you, Dalton? Help. Uh, is she good, bro? Is she possessed now? What? Uh. 
Are they all in the weird... Oh no. Turn on the light! Leave this body now! Three cameras. Run the clock. We got nothing. What do you mean you got nothing? That was insane. I was like holding a word. I could say, oh my god. Frame by frame by frame. Bro. No. Mom, what are you doing here? I asked your mother to come over. I called her immediately after the session. Why? There's something we must talk about. My husband was possessed at one point. Hmm. It's no accident that your son is a gifted traveler. The ability was handed down to him by his father. At first, I thought it was a camera problem. Uh, no. Finally, I was so frightened, I found Elise. Honey, you are. You're still afraid to have your picture taken, aren't you? Mm. You are the only one that can bring him back. And with what we saw tonight, I would say he doesn't have much time left to wait for you. Please come back. Mm. A sound man, by not advancing himself, stays the further ahead of himself. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let my voice be your guide. Keep a steady stride into the further you go. Oh, so scary. of him that's so creepy nope Dalton hello afraid Yeah, go find Dalton. Don't mess with these weirdos. A gun? The Tell me where my son is. Please. What? Uh-uh. You're ugly. Oh. Just keep calling Dalton. Annoy the show. Just be like, Dalton, 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 Dalton. Blues, clues, blues, clues. You know what to do. You're stronger than they are, Josh. You are the one alive. Get away from me! Bye. Mm, baby. Dalton! 
Daddy? Oh, God. Daddy? Buddy. Oh, my God. Daddy. Oh, my God. Daddy, look, I'm faint. Okay, okay, okay. Face me, buddy, face me. Come here. We'll get you out. <laughs> he found your son. No, no, the lights. Stop, 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 stop. No, better not be the woman. What? <laughs> Stephen, Lorraine, go check on Dalton. What? Go check on Dalton. Jesus. What? Go check on Dalton now. How many times did you have to say it? God, do. Crossing over into our world. No, they're not. No, 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 no. You just let him go? You? Oh no! Yeah, bitch. Figure it out. You can get away from me. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> get away from me. It's not funny. Stop laughing. Why is everyone laughing? Please, honey. Josh, come back. Come back, Josh. Get the hell away from me. Come back, please. Leave me alone. Wake up. Okay, good. Dalton. Poor baby. He's awake. Oh, my boy. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> Shots. <laughs> You're really hungry, aren't you? And I'm tired too. And you're tired? I wouldn't go to sleep. Guess I don't need these anymore. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm gonna get rid of these. Hmm. Why did you do that? Why would you do that to me when you know how I feel about that? Why? That's not him, is it? It's not him, is it? Bitch! 
Look at this. That ending gave me chills. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good. Listen, I love me a good twist. And at first I was like, this is like a homework ending. Like how cute. But I wasn't like mad about it because I was happy to not be scared anymore. But whoa. I like that ending. That was a good ending. I can see why people said this was a really good movie. It keeps you on your toes. It was a simplistic plot, yet visually it was really intricate. The acting was really good too. The older woman, she killed it. Elise was her name in the movie. So compelling. She was awesome. Dalton was really good. I mean, the husband, Chris Pratt, like, times 10 you know what I mean it was scary but it was still gratifying if that makes sense you know some movies are just scary to be scary and you don't feel like you walked away like connected to any of the characters or like caring that much you're just like whoa but like I really cared you know little Dalton <laughs> This movie seems iconic in a way that I remember when it came out everyone was talking about it and I feel like for a horror movie to do that it's kind of rare especially with all the cgi we have and everything i think the last horror movie that really made me feel some type of way was hereditary and for some reason i agreed to see that in theaters i don't know why and yeah that was it was disturbing to say the least so i feel like in terms of iconic you know horror movies this definitely is in that uh category i feel like because it was just such a talked about subject when I was in high school and it's still now you know like people refer to it all the time like that red guy in Insidious I get it that was a good movie because like I would have been fine with the ending not having that twist I would have been like still that was a good movie but like that twist though but now I feel so bad for him like go get your husband like oh my god he's stuck it was giving stranger things a little bit but I think this came out before Stranger Things but it's kind of a, an interesting like similar concept except obviously the physical body was still there well technically I mean Eleven can like technically astral project in a way interesting I felt validated watching this movie because I did live in a haunted house at one point and there were a few things that the wife was feeling and going through that like I went through and people will try to make you feel crazy and they'll try to gaslight you but like trust your gut trust your instinct I'm curious okay so now I remember watching it being like how would they do a sequel you know if they got Dalton if everything's fine and now I really want to see a second one I was sitting here like in the middle hating on it I was like I'm not gonna watch the rest of these but like should I it scared me it scared me good it scared me good a lot of the shots were really interesting Obviously, the first shot with the lamp and then everything, you know, turning upside down. And I joked about the upside down. Technically, it's like a very similar concept. So, the visuals were very good. And F that red man, bro. <laughs> I don't like him. Okay? I don't think anyone should like him. Darth Maul looking ass. I can't. It's funny I say that, but I don't really, like, remember those Star Wars movies. And I don't remember Darth, Darth Maul. I've just seen him on, like, everything Star Wars. Anyway. The coloring in this movie is really interesting. For most of the movie, it's very bleak. Not much color. Not much saturation. Obviously, with some reds, they pop out. But I found it interesting. The saturation, like, the color was super low. Kind of this, like, grayish green color and then when he is in the further uh the colors are way more saturated way brighter he's got the bright red the bright teal um stuff like that was really cool to see in the further and it kind of definitely 
made you feel like you were in a different world. Um, so that was a really interesting choice, and I, I enjoyed that. I don't like the people that were just standing there staring. I don't like them. I think that they shouldn't have been there just for my sanity. It was creepy. I didn't get it. I didn't like it. That room, I've had like a nightmare similar to obviously like that room where people are just around you and that it brought back flashbacks. You know, you have some nightmares that just stick with you for your whole life. That That's similar. I've had one of those. Also grabbing of the ankles and yanking. Had one of those. Don't forget that. It's scary because I feel like some people can relate to like having night terrors or sleep paralysis nightmares. And this reminded me a lot of that only like times 10. This is like sleep paralysis turned up to 11. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. I get it now. Like I get why everyone's like, oh my god, it's hideous. It's so scary and it's so good. Also, I should mention, I totally forgot to mention this. I remember I had seen memes from this movie. It was the the red guy behind Chris Pat 2.0. Um, times 10. So I had seen that photo of that red guy and I remember in high school people were like, oh, this is so scary. Like, F this dude. Now I know where that's from. And also the tip to through the tulip. F that song. I don't like it. Like, I know that song has existed before this movie, but I know that this movie is kind of what made it popular for like the horror genre, I think. Anyways, if you guys want me to react to any more horror films, please leave a comment below. If you want me to react to the other Insidious movies, let me know because like now I'm invested. <laughs> I don't know if I could be scarier than that, but my god. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed my reaction at all. Give it a thumbs up. Share it if you think it's funny. Like send it to someone. Again, subscribe. It's free. Trick or treat. Subscribe. It's a treat. It's not a trick. Uh, it's nighttime now and I should go to bed and I'm gonna say a long prayer tonight. <laughs> It made me feel some type of way. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I put up a new vlog for Halloween. It's going to be up when this video is going to be up and it's super fun. I actually get murdered in a Texas Chainsaw fashion <laughs> and I vlogged uh, my experience on set. So that's super fun. So I was also in a horror movie, but honestly, this seemed creepy. I feel like as an actor, if I was filming this, I don't think I'd have to act that much either in this because like all those people standing there when he was just with the lamp and then like getting your ankles yanked and like even as an actor I feel like this would be scary to do because I didn't see a lot of CGI. I saw a lot of people and like practical effects which is awesome and like really refreshing to see because they easily could have done CGI with all this but I feel like I could tell there were some shots with it obviously but like I definitely could see that they use real people for being just uh, ghosts and everything. That being said, this is a classic and I see it. I get it. I get the hype. So anyway, have a great and safe Halloween. Please stay safe out there. Check your candy. Don't drink and drive and have some fun. And with that being said, I will see you next time.